welcome back to the channel. My name is Ian. This is another video about cannabis. Specifically today, I'm talking about nectar collectors again. I'm talking about one that I bought recently. It's the Luca Seahorse. This is sort of like a product review. I've been using it for over a week, almost two weeks now, as like my daily mobile sort of concentrate solution. A couple weeks ago, I did a video on a different sort of nectar collector. It was like an auto draw. Very simple, like very cheap nectar collector. The main issue with that one was that the pathways, like all the air pathways and shit were so narrow that it just got gunked up like immediately. And I was cleaning it like every day. I'm happy to say that that problem is totally solved uh, with the new one that I have. Like I, I've been using it for almost two weeks and I haven't cleaned it once. Like not really, like not manually or anything. Like it's still, it still works. I'm just being really lazy about it, which is like laziness is part of that you know like 510 pens and cartridges and shit like they are the ultimate lazy uh unsustainable compromise let's say in terms of like mobile concentrates yeah they're the ultimate compromise like this is a little bit better it's somewhere between the 510 cart and the peak pro right or like the cart of v2 or like a proper mobile dab rig it's definitely a step up from the 510 but you're not all the way there so yeah this is the luca seahorse pro plus this is like the second generation seahorse that luca has put out it's great like i'm gonna i'm gonna talk all about it hit the like hit the subscribe follow along on the channel if you're into weed especially if you're into rosin making rosin at home like that's kind of the channel specialty but i do other videos too this is one of them they're all age restricted and the algorithm hates me so, so any interaction with my videos helps out a ton i really appreciate it before i get into like what i like about this thing let me just tell you guys the basics this is a electronic nectar collector it's not auto draw you have to hit a button but it is electronic right it heats up on its own you don't have to use a torch which is huge for me like i just can't see myself using a torch to consume concentrates like it's just it's a little too cracky for me got the box so i'm gonna go over like a little bit of what's on here it's a pretty it's a pretty cool kit it includes the seahorse you got the tip, right? It comes with the quartz tip, which I think is pretty cool. There's a manual, there's a connection hose. So you can actually connect the nectar collector to a rig and use the rig to hit the concentrates like with the nectar collector. If you want, you can use it as like kind of an e-nail thing like that. I would, I'm not doing that. I haven't used it that way. I probably never will, but it's an option. It's this green hose thing. And there's this Jordan Peterson looking motherfucker like on the brochure that just absolutely fucking sends me, bro. Like this is, He's got, look at, look, dude, look. This motherfucker has, they, they photoshopped a Luca tattoo on his arm. Like that's, that's the life choice, bro. That's, he got the Luca tat. That's how you know he's loyal. Loyal to his favorite brand. That's how he reps that Luca at the, <laughs> it's like, anyway, he's got the, he's showing how, you know, he's showing you how to do the, the dab rig connection thing. He's fucking cool. Wish I was that guy. I wish to become that guy when I'm 80. I'll, I just got to get my Luca tat and my vest and, and just get real fucking buff, you know? Anyway, I'm pretty sure they pho photoshopped the Luca in his hand. Yeah, they did. That's just a style. Like they photoshopped everything into this picture. The, the dab rig, the connect, the anyway, 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 everything. So it comes with the connection. It comes with a cleaning brush. It comes with a 14, 18 millimeter adapter. I think it's just this. I have no idea. Oh yeah, it's this. I don't know. Yeah, cause that goes into a 14 and becomes an 18. No idea. I think it's part of this hose, which is the 14 to 18 adapter. There is a type C cable because this is type C, which I, it, it's just mandatory at this point. Like if you're gonna put out a new device, and it's rechargeable, like, what are you doing using micro USB? Don't do that. Use, use USB-C and allow, and do pass-through charging. This has pass-through charging, which is basically like, you can charge it and use it at the same time, which is especially useful uh, if you're doing the, the cleaning feature, as I like to call it. Like, you can press the power button three times uh, in a very, you know, short period to start the session mode, which in session mode, the device will preheat for 15 seconds, and then it will uh, continue to heat for 30 seconds. So it's like a 45 second solid heat. This has uh, three heat settings, like low, medium, and high. And if you're on the highest setting and you do the session mode a couple times, the tip kind of cleans itself. That's how, I, that's how I've been cleaning the tip. This device actually has the same battery size as the last one. They're both 650, meh, whatever. Um, but for some reason, like this one, seems to last longer like i can get like two days out of it instead of just a single day i sometimes couldn't even get a day out of the last one which i kind of have suspicions about battery leakage and cold temperatures 
uh, which can happen with with uh, cheaper devices but this one seems efficient like this one i can i can get it two solid days at, at about of use out of it with, before i have to recharge it which is cool you can hit the button for about 20 seconds before it stops you that's basically a blinker i guess but 20 seconds would be a, a pretty big rip maybe i should try that cheers So, yeah, 20 seconds on this thing is the equivalent of a blinker, but actually it's not as bad. Like a blinker on a pen, like a 10 or 15 second blinker on a pen, so much worse than 20 seconds on the medium. That was the medium heat setting too. Like 20 seconds with the medium heat setting on this, better than a pen. Still, see, like that's why, that's why I'm using this thing, man. That's why, I, I don't know, nectar collectors, bigger, better hits, more flavorful hits, better oil. It's really, it's really, I'm, I'm willing to put in <laughs> OPP animal mints. One thing I almost forgot to mention, like you can um, you can take this off, you can take the tip off and screw a 510 cartridge into this and just use it as a battery for your 510. Like why you would want to do that, I have no, no idea. That just seems like the worst possible use of this device, but it's possible. It would be like a really awkward 510 battery, just like, I guess you don't even need the, the glass tube at that point, but that would make it even awkward or if you took the glass out, tried to use it that way. Anyway, terrible, terrible idea to use this as a 510, but it's possible. It's possible. So thought I thought I'd mention that. I think that covers all the basics. Um, you get a box, you know, it comes in a nice box. The attachments come in another box inside the box. A uh, little brochure, everything you could need to get going. It doesn't come with concentrates, so you got to buy those at the store or from the plug or somebody. I hope you can find those. One thing I will say, like now that I've gone over the basics, like now I'll get into kind of like what I like about it and what I don't. Cons, let's talk about the cons, cause there's not very many cons and it's not gonna take me very long to think of them. One of the biggest cons of this device is that it's kind of like, it's kind of just a big straight shot. Like there is, especially with the quartz tip, um, everything's coming through a rather large cylinder compared to the problem of my last nectar collector which had like really narrow pathways where everything was getting gunked up this is the opposite of that everything is just one big open pathway and if you have a crumble or like a, a particularly sugary dab if you use just a little bit too much suction you, you can just slurp it right up like into your mouth like dip, dip. Like bits of fucking, uh, like bits of weed in your mouth when you're hitting the joint, you know, like little shit on your tongue, but it's actually like, it feels like grains of sticky sand because it's like sticky wax, you know? And it's like, it's just, I don't know, that's lame. I don't like that. So I've been completely avoiding drier dabs that are sugary or crumbly at all, which is actually pretty easy because there's a, there's just plenty of consistency. But if you, if that's all you have access to is crumble, then I would, I would steer clear of, of this. Like, I, I just I just don't see this as a viable solution if that's all you have, but I don't, I also don't see that being the case. Like, where are you that you only have access to like crumble and like sugary shit? Anyway, so I tend to buy like the dough stuff and the saucy stuff, cause that, that tends to work really well. This, this stuff, this vaporizes that stuff really well. I'm thinking that there are other tips. Like this tip is quartz, it's a cylinder, and it's just kind of a straight shot like the rest of the device. But I'm thinking there's other tips that kind of mitigate that issue and you can probably explore a wider range of concentrates. But anyway, that's probably my main beef with this thing. The other thing is the, the actual quartz tip. It's removable, but I think it's very hard to actually clean it. The entryway on that side is actually probably the narrowest part of the whole thing. And then on this side, you have the, the porous quartz, which I'll get into like what that is and how it works and stuff. But it, this, you don't wanna hit with a brush. You, you have to be pretty gentle with it. So you can't clean it out on that side. So in the middle on the inside, like you just have this glass sort of tube that's getting perpetually gunked up. You can see probably that this is just like really gunked up after my almost two weeks of use. And eventually it's just gonna become completely gunked and I'll probably just have to replace it. The porous quartz on the tip is wearing down. I can kind of see it slowly eroding, let's say, just like with use and it, it isn't taking too much time. Luckily the tips 
are not expensive. Um, and I'd rather replace these every once in a while than go through cartridges like all the time. Like I think it's still a little bit more sustainable, like less, you know, less waste, that kind of thing. I'm kind of conscious of that with carts. Like carts to me seem just like extremely fucking wasteful. I know it's not all on the individual to like pick up the pieces and fix the environment. Like corporations are absolutely responsible for ruining everything. Carts just seem like a totally bad idea. Like these little pieces of fucking atomizer and metal that were just <laughs> and then just throwing away like that. That just seems like a terrible fucking idea because you go through them so quick. This is a little bit better. I'm not saying it's great, but I, I, it's just in the back of my mind. But yeah, I would say that a downside is that these tips are like weak, you know, they gunk up and you're gonna have to replace them yeah, every once in a while, probably like maybe, maybe once a month you'll be going through one of these tips, you know, like that seems like a reasonable rate. I've had it for almost two weeks. I can't see it lasting longer than like four, so we'll see. But for now, it's still working really good. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna talk about what I like, and it still has all the all the things that I really like in general about like an electronic nectar collector versus a versus a pen. The first thing is what I already talked about. It's a little bit more sustainable. I feel like it's less wasteful. The second thing is like the oil selection is much better. Grams of oil, like even BHO completely shit on what's available in cartridges. Like cartridges, like the oil that goes into cartridges has to, there's a lot of compromises made to like get it ready for the cart. Most of it is just distillate mixed with terps anyway. Even if it's live resin a lot of the time, it's just a small amount of live resin mixed with some bullshit distillate. And then the full live resin carts, you have to pay an arm and a leg for those because they have to do all these extra processes to get live resin ready for a cart and make it good. So you're better off just buying like a cheap dab that's live resin um, and slurping it up through a neck collector, at least in my opinion. And that's why, that's why I, I use them. Also, portable dab rigs are expensive. Like I'm getting there, but I, I thought I'd start with something like this and, and work my way up, but. Oh, I can actually tell the tip is starting to get gunked up like right now. So like almost two weeks, almost two weeks and the tip is just now maybe starting to starting to gunk up on me, like the pathway, you know, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's much better than the other one, which I was cleaning like literally every day. Anyway, the thing I like about this one specifically, I mean, it's obviously a little bit more robust than the one I reviewed initially. Like this one just has a bigger hit potential, let's say like I can get I can get much fatter hits off of this. It's got the three heat settings, so I can really crank it up if I want to. I'm keeping it on the middle one that seems to produce the best hits and sort of like the best performance. Part of the quality of the hit itself is the fact that this one ships with a quote unquote quartz tip. It has a glass tube and then inside the tube, there's like a chunk, a cylindrical hollowed out chunk of what they're calling porous quartz, which is like a quartz sponge, quartz sponge. And then there's like wires. There's like little lead wires coming up from the tip leading into the quartz, I think on either side. And then at the tip, those wires connect to a, a round coil that's sitting inside, just, just under the top of that porous quartz to heat up the element. And so you're taking a dab essentially with hot quartz, which is nice, especially because like I said, this thing has a session mode, which can clean the tip of the quartz off. Like you, you put it through the session mode on the highest heat setting like three times, and then the tip of the, the, at least the tip of the quartz is like white again. The rest of the component is gonna be all black and shit. I don't think that's gonna be like cleanable really, but the tip itself, is fairly easy to clean just using the just using the session mode. So that's really nice. I like that this glass part is removable and that's very easy to clean. Once you take the tip off and the glass part off, you just have this small sort of pathway here and there's a cleaning brush that was included for that. So that's easy to clean. Like overall maintenance on this thing is so much easier than my last one. It's very easy, I think, in terms of just like nectar collectors and dab rigs and stuff like that. Again, this is this whole setup, like a nectar collector and a gram of wax, is a little bit more legwork than a 510 and it's not as discreet. It will never be as discreet as a 510. But for some people, me included, you know, you find yourself sitting in your car or whatever and you, you got 15 minutes to kill for whatever reason. Yeah, this, this works really well. Like I like it, I like it for that. And maybe you just don't have the money or the time or the interest in setting up like a, a fancy dab rig on your desk with a fucking, an email or a giant torch or whatever. And you just want something simple that you can use to take your concentrates and be efficient. Because honestly, like, it's almost like uh, this is like, uh, 
smoking smoking bowls out of a pipe or something versus smoking joints right like the joints would be the dab rig where you can just like you can just slurp up like a quarter of a gram easily in like one dab or whatever you're just like ah let's go for it and like you just you get super baked and everything but like it's not very efficient it's kind of like smoking a joint whereas if you're trying to be financially conscious you're trying to budget you know you're trying to make all your shit last this is this is probably the way to go i think that this is probably more efficient it's hard to slurp up like a ton of concentrates that being said this one has an admirable slurp rate i will say that like much better than the the little rinky dink one i was this one obliterates concentrates a little bit faster but still it's 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 way more efficient than like a full-on dab rig so maybe maybe people are interested in that like i don't know i don't know what all the scenarios might be that would lead someone to the nectar collector but this one's pretty cool as nectar collectors go I, it's it's really not bad it's some and it's not too big you know i've seen the human suck you know massive nectar collector one that one just seems really big and kind of defeats the purpose a little bit but I'm, I'm curious i'm curious about that one so we'll see thank you so much for watching this video as usual the weekly smash is going down on my twitch today at 4 p.m every wednesday at 4 i go live on twitch and i make a bunch of hash that's basically the day where like i make my hash i just do it live turn it into a show and it's a lot of fun so come on over to twitch join us at 4 p.m come get super baked and see how the whole rosin process happens and if you like this video and you want to see more uh subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i release new videos i generally do it every wednesday um got a lot of videos planned a lot of videos in the works so yeah stick around stay tuned for all that stuff i'm just gonna hit this nectar collector again so youtube knows what kind of video this is. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, love, and dope. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.